welcome back. We're out in the hen house today and we're going to talk about how we should be gathering and storing our eggs prior to incubating them. I'm going to show you the eggs to choose, maybe the eggs you shouldn't be choosing, how to store them, how to rotate them, and how long we should be storing them before we actually incubate them. First, we're going to talk about the cleanliness part of it. You want to start out with a clean egg carton that hasn't had any dirty eggs in it, no chicken feathers, chicken feces, nothing like that. We want to make sure we have clean hands when handling these eggs for incubating. I've got my little helper here today and I'm going to show you which eggs we're going to gather and use to actually store to get ready for incubating these baby chicks. Allie, you want to come on in? Okay, go ahead and open it, Emily. So as you can see, we've got plenty of eggs to choose from. What you want to do is get the freshest eggs possible. So I come out, I gather my eggs every single day. I always have at least 13 to 17 eggs a day. If you keep your nest boxes clean, you don't have to worry about discarding or not using any of these eggs. You want to pick the cleanest eggs you can find, look them over, make sure there's no cracks in them, no blemishes like thin spots. Those eggs you don't want to use. So as you can see, I've got a good egg right here. We're just going to brush off my shavings. Look it over, nice and clean. When it comes to storing the eggs you want to choose for incubating, each egg has a pointed end and a blunt end. So when you store your eggs in your egg carton, you want to actually store them pointy end down. So we're going to keep going through here and taking a look. If there is just a little bit of dirt, these are okay to use. You don't want to wash them. You want to leave them how they are because they do have a protective coating on them to help keep bacteria out. So once again, we're going pointy in down. The green one's good. It's just got a little bit of mud, probably from my chicken's foot, which I'm fine with that. This one looks good, pointy in down. Now grabbing this one out, this one has quite a bit more dirt. It looks like it could have a little bit of poo on it. And I've got plenty in here to choose from. So I'm just going to leave this one down in the nest box and continue to grab the rest that look good to me. Make sure you get the shavings off. Okay. Just going to put all these pointed in down. So that's a good little one. Just if there's a lot of mud or dirt on them, you guys probably don't want to use them. Now that we've gathered the eggs for incubating, you want to mark today as day one. I typically don't like to store my eggs more than five days if I don't have to. If you don't have a lot of eggs and you're gathering every day trying to make a full hatch, I don't recommend going over seven days. If you choose to do that, your hatchability rates drop quite a bit. So the fresher the egg, the quicker you get them into heat, you want to put them all in at one time and not add each day to the incubator. The next step is once we've gathered all of our eggs for our incubator, you need to decide, do I want more eggs than what I got today? If you do and you want to gather over a few day process, there are a few things you should know. So first, the fresher the egg, the quicker you get it in the incubator, the higher the hatch rate. If I wanted more than these 12, I would go for about three days. That would give me about 36 eggs. You just want to keep them cool, but not too cold. Or on the opposite end, actually not too warm because these will actually start to mature in the egg and actually the embryo will start to grow if we have a warmer temp. The other thing is the humidity. So a big no-no is the fridge. The fridge is too cold, plus the humidity in a fridge is super low. Put a thermometer in there with a humidity reading and you'll see what I'm talking about. 
basically around a 70 to 80 percent humidity is what you want for these guys if you're storing them the reason we want the humidity between a 70 and 80 percent is you don't want the embryo in this egg to actually stick to one side or on the other end it can actually just dry out therefore your egg would not be hatchable definitely make sure the humidity is at a good percent make sure you're in a nice cool area and that should up your chances of your hatch rate i'm going to show you how to store them once you've got them in your egg carton and how often we should be rotating them to once again to keep that embryo from sticking to one side of the egg so you're basically rotating them like a mama hen would do in her nest box. When storing these, you just wanna make sure you have them stored in the conditions we talked about. We want it cool, not too cold, not too hot. We want the humidity right around the 70 to 80, and you want it in a dark location. You also, to keep our embryo from sticking, we are gonna rotate back and forth at about a 45 degree angle. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna shift our embryo to one side. The pointy end is still down. We don't wanna be flipping these back and forth, up and down. You want them always pointed in down. I recommend about every six to eight hours rotating them. If you're just not able to do that, then at least once every 12 hours. Once our six to eight hours is up, just come out gently, move your wood or whatever you have propping them up, and go ahead and prop the other side, and that shifts your embryo back to the other side. It just constantly moves it so it doesn't get stuck on one side. And while you have it stored in the location you're choosing, that's the right temps, just go ahead and close the lid, keep it closed. It protects the eggs. It keeps from any bacteria getting in there. Also, while storing your eggs, you want to handle them as less as you can. The more chances of you touching those eggs can actually put bacteria on them. So my recommendation is close the lid, do your 45 degree rotating at least twice a day. The more you do it, the more that embryo gets from side to side to keep it from getting any attachments or sticking. And last but not least, once you've stored your eggs, you're getting ready to incubate, you wanna pull your eggs out of the cool location, bring them into your home, wherever you're gonna be putting them into the incubator, which is typically our homes around 70 degrees, you want to let these sit out before you put them in the incubator and come to room temperature. So usually that's about four to eight hours because you don't want to take a cold egg and put it in a hundred degree incubator. That ups your chances of the eggs cracking or just damage being done to the egg or the embryo. I hope I've answered most of your questions you have about storing eggs and how we should handle them. Anything else, just drop me a question. I'll do my best to answer it. And I thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.